Welcome back, Turtle Club, to MC Eternal. Guys, I'm super excited today because we are going to be getting into immersive engineering. Yeah, baby. But uh, we need to do a few things first. I ended up dying over there a few nights ago. Maybe down there, too. Uh, so anyway, other than that, I want to go ahead and show you guys what I've done. Uh, I went ahead and put a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, we can go ahead and start chopping those guys down. I put a door here going out this way. I've been lighting up the area. Uh, built this up, so now we are getting... We're getting, what I don't know, what I even say, I don't know. We're getting a lot more in our system. I think we can get up to over half a stack now. Which, uh, let's see, I've added down here. I don't know if I've showed you this floor. And then we also added down here too. That's where the roguelike dungeon is. It's behind here. Uh, but we need to put some windows here eventually. A lot of brick. We might need to fix that. Uh, I've also been uh, doing a lot of mining. Obviously, we got some chests here, stuff like that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of mining, but I'll do that off camera. I've uh, been making some iron ingots. But uh, yeah, so today I want to go ahead and we're going to be making... We So, in order to get into immersive engineering, we need to make steel. But steel is a little complicated to make. Um, let's see here. We need to put some of this... In here like that and jump on this and I jump on the middle there we go so yeah look at that we got pulverized coal look at that we still gotta do one more okay so we have two pulverized coal now we need to do that quite a few times so at the beginning it's gonna be very grindy getting into immersive engineering uh, and in order to do that obviously we need to make a furnace generator uh, which I'm going to make right now but we need a furnace. And this will burn coal, charcoal, stuff like that to make power. So now we are into uh, redstone flux, which is RF. As you can see, just throw that in there. We start generating RF per tick. Uh, this generates, I believe it's 40 RF per tick base. But as you can see, this thing is hauling. Yeah, generates 16,000 RF at 40 RF per tick, and then it halts. I love I love these machines, these are great. But we need to pair it up with a simple alloy smelter so we can make the steel. Now, I have majority of this stuff actually done, uh, but we need the furnace and three iron ingots up at the top. So let's go ahead and get 16 of these cobblestone boys to make, oops, that's not it, we already made that. And Grains of Infinity, if you guys are wondering how to make that, it's very simple. You go down to bedrock, and you light it on fire with flint and steel. And you just wait a few, and then it goes pop. Sometimes it'll give you some, sometimes it won't. But it's uh, it's pretty easy. The funny thing is, where I went down, because over here, uh, I tunneled. There's an opening. Here, let me show you. Right there, that goes all the way down to bedrock. And the roguelike dungeon underneath us, we ran into. Three times, I do believe. So there's that. Pulverized coal. We got more. Okay. So it should be our third one. We have that. Let's make the alloy smelter. Bam. Made it. So alloys and stuff like that. As you can see, this is getting charged. Awesome sauce. And where did I put the previous coal powder? Um, I don't know. I guess I got to make some more. All right. So we got a total of 10 of these guys. Let's go ahead and get some more iron smelted up. So to make the steel... Because we're going to be trying to make a water mill here right away. Let us see a water mill just like that. So we're going to need some treated wood. And if I do remember correctly, the best way to get treated wood, you're going to need a Coke oven. Bam. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, we type in Coke. So Coke brick. Yep, so we need clay brick and sandstone does it have to be red sandstone let's have a look it does not it can be sandstone perfect so we should have all of the necessary materials to make up quite a few bit of it quite a few of it that made sense right and then there's that so let's go ahead smelt up 19 to U. actually 19 yeah that's pretty good so, cool. So, let's split that up and have this smelting. Bam! All right. So, let's see about the materials we need for this guy. Okay. 
Oh, sweet. So we should have enough. Uh, we're going to need an engineer's hammer, though. Uh, one of these guys to make it work. So let's have a look at that. Oh, just two iron. That's pretty simple. And some string. We should have some string in here. Yep, we got one string and then like two sticks. So let's go ahead and make the sticks up. Awesome. Hama! Yes, so I've, I've cleared out a space for it down here. So let's go ahead. And I'm pretty sure that the new recipe requires this thing to be filled in all the way. Yep, there we go. Booyah, baby. So what we go, what we do is we go ahead and we throw in some coal, and for one, it gives us a much better version of coal called coal coke. And if we look at that, I will show you guys. So this will burn for twice as long. Um, as you can see, it burns for 3,200 ticks instead of just um, 2,400 or no 1,600. So that's awesome, and it's a bit slow, unfortunately. Uh, so I want to look into time in a bottle. Let's go here. Uh, introduction. It should be over here somewhere. Time in a bottle. One of these. This is the goal. So I have one one diamond. That's all I have. Got that one diamond. Actually, let's check. I might have a second one. And over here. Okay. I have an emerald. Ah, no diamond. Shoot. Also checking upstairs. We have the desired gold, but not the desired diamond. And I just threw the diamond on my mattock. Ah. So I'm kind of down here messing around with these guys because I don't have like really good armor to, this is like the bottom tier stuff. Like I can see over here, stuff like that. But I come over here and I'm trying to sneak around and look what I find. I find diamonds. This is amazing. All right, we are back, so let's claim some of these cool chests. We got a music disc, all right, we got some cool leggings, check that out. All right, oh yeah, better armor, sweet. Uh, so I need to get 100 more bucks so we can get some lapis, because I'm all out. Uh, so what's easy? We can go ahead, we can make some stone torches, which is just a stone guy, okay. That seems pretty simple. Okay, so we did that, and then we need to take these. And how many lanterns do we need to make? I think we need to make three of these. Okay, so we need two more iron. Okay, so we have the two more iron. Uh, so let's go ahead and make some more. The, oop, where'd it go? There you are. Okay, and so the lanterns, what we do is we surround the torch. Not like that. Um, what? Oh, just a regular torch. Okay. Okay, so torches. Bam. Bam. So we've knocked this one out. So let's go ahead and grab that. 50 bucks. Okay. Make a home a home. Cool. We've done it. Look at that. It's so pretty. A peace candle. Alrighty. And then Shoji door. So I want to put one. Yeah. Oh, that's a good lantern. Put these right above the doors. Yes. And then we can put one there. Oh, it looks great. It's perfect. So now we also have the amount of money we need to buy the lapis. Perfect. All right. So we have everything. We need the glass bottle. Get the torches out of here. Bam. All right. Time in a bottle. So now we're generating some time. So what I'm going to do is go AFK because after we're done with that, we can go ahead and speed this guy up, hopefully. Uh, but we are getting some of that. So let's see about, before we do that, let's see about getting a tank. Not a tank with wheel. Nah, I can't spell tank, can I? Okay, let's see if this tank works. So like this. Yes, it does. So cool trick. I think we can do this. If we take our planks go like this because usually the the recipe is to do bucket by bucket but yes oh look at that we just made 40 that is so much easier guys holy crap and the cool thing is is let's see how much time we got in our bottle here five minutes can we do this yes we can 
So this should go faster. We have some cold coke. Let's go ahead and get some more of this. We should have some steel ingots. Yes, we do. Let's make a freaking water beam. Just kidding. <laughs> let's make a freaking uh, water mill. So it's like this. Okay. So I hope that's enough. Just need to make four. Didn't make too many. Okay, that, we let go. Okay. So we do, we have everything we need for a water mill, baby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I think this area over here I'm going to make for the water mill. I think that would be really cool. But we need to make something else for that, and the water mill attaches to something... Um, I believe it's this kinetic dynamo. So it's very simple to make. We just need a copper coil, which is copper string. All right, so the plate cast has been made. Unfortunately, we did lose that one of the iron plates. Uh, but that means we can make some steel plates, which is awesome. Um, but let's see about making... Uh, we gotta get some copper plates though, right? So throw some copper in here. Let's see. So these are only worth one. That's awesome. And this the copper goes quick too. Holy cow. So we're gonna need to make those scissors to make the copper string. Yeah, this guy. Oh, you can just use shears. Awesome. So I should have some shears somewhere. Oh look, cough, cough. There are my shears. They were there the whole time. Okay, let's get the copper back down here. Bam. Cool thing is this thing does double ores. I did verify it. So thank goodness because that is really neato. Awesome. So we have the total of four we need. Ooh, we are we are out of storage, guys. Oof, holy cow. So back to the kinetic dynamo. We need a total of a lot. So we need eight. We need eight copper plates. Uh, I only have enough for three more. Whoops. So I think I need to do some mining. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so we should have all of the required materials for this guy. So let's go ahead and make some of these up. Should have two. Yep. And we should be able to make one of these now. Yep. And then we should be able to make this. Kinetic dynamo. Perfect. And it's getting pretty spoopy out. Nope, not going to do that. Need my bed. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy all set up. Um, do we have any building blocks? We do technically. We're gonna come out. Um, okay, so let's grab some stuff. Actually, I think it should be lower. And yeah, so let's have a look. Um, I want it to be one block lower, so it should be like right here. Let's place it like that. Bam. Okay, so we do need to get rid of this though. Okay, so we can still get by. And we're gonna go ahead and do, uh, we can't have that there. Do that. Actually, this, hmm. We need to have this in the wall one. And that means we can run cables underneath the stairs and hide them. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so let's just see how much power we can generate with the, with a setup like this. Let's come over here. Excuse me. Um, let's grab a bucket. And this isn't going to be the most efficient way. Oh, right away. So, but it, it's honest work. So we are technically generating power. Um, and we don't have to do anything with this power. So let's go ahead and see if this makes it any better. Well, that didn't work. We gotta get that working right. Like that. Okay, and hopefully when we update this, doesn't freak out on us. Ah, it did. Oh well. That is okay, because I think we can put another one next to it. Okay, so we're, we're gonna need to get some cables. All right, so we got some stuff we need to make. We need to make a Low voltage wire connectors. So we're just going to make a few of these. Low voltage capacitor. We do need lead. I don't have any lead yet, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to do that just yet. But let's go on down here. 
this is where the connection is. I did build a little tunnel out to it. And so we're going to take it right off of the back here. And we'll move it. Uh, I guess we can just throw it here for now. Just so we can see it connect. Or not. <laughs> okay. So connection. Here. Connection. Bam. And that's what it's going to look like. So there should be power coming to here. It doesn't look like... Ah! There's definitely power. It's shocking the crap out of me. So th that's good. Um, we are getting some rain. But uh, it would be cool to see how much that can produce. So we could always just throw our alloy smelter there and see about that. So let's see here. Uh, put this guy, we'll put him just here like so. Put that on top. And then grab this. Grab it like that. Bam. Okay, so this should be getting power. Let's see. Let's grab some iron and see if we can make some awesome steel. If we add the two iron in. Yeah, look at that. We are generating power, guys. Oh, my Lord. We're going to get a battery box in here, and this is going to be where all of our power comes into the building. Uh, we'll wire up all of the floors and all of that. Sweet. But guys, if you did enjoy the episode of getting into immersive engineering, we have a lot more in the store in the future. I'm very excited about that. But everyone, I thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out. I love your face.